Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday, fun day. Come to you again live from the living room of me and Bear. We've made Bear a little pallet up on the couch where he's pretty much spent his uh, entire morning besides getting down to eat and to go to the bathroom a couple times. Um, but we're going to focus today on a little bit of full body, a little bit of everything. We're going to sprinkle in some legs since we didn't do a lot of legs in yesterday's workout. Um, and like clockwork, as soon as we get ready to start the workout, Bear decides he wants to get up and play. So we're going to start with those bands. If you don't have bands, you can use dumbbells. We're going to do some squats to get started here. Everything will be a minute on this first round. We'll throw in some exercises as we're going. You do not have to do weights on this first one if you don't want to. Um, we're just going to, I'm using bands. This can be a light little warm up. So we're going to go squats for a minute. And we're going to start throwing a little bit of arms with everything as we go. So let's hit these squats in three, two, one, let's go. So I'm squat it out here. Those feet wide. Just have a nice wide base. If it's too difficult to hold those bands up by your shoulders, don't worry about it. You can always hold them down to your side. Like I said, we're just trying to get you warmed up here with those legs. We're going to throw in a little bit of biceps coming up with these curls or with these squats as we're going. So again, we're going to go five minute rounds today. We'll do each round twice. So we'll have eight rounds total. Four short rounds. Got about 20 seconds here. Then we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of curls with those squats. 10 seconds. We're gonna have five curls to one squat coming up. And four, three, two, one. Five bicep curls. Hold, give me that one squat. Five curls. One squat. Looks like we had another beautiful day in Nashville today. Sun shining, actually blue skies, which is great since it's been a little overcast the last few days. Yeah. Had a little bit of a storm roll through yesterday or last night. Let the doors open, kind of listen to it. Help me get a little sleep in. Have an idea, any help sleeping. A lot of naps going on these days. Got about 10 seconds here, and we're going to change it up. We're going to go to some shoulders in three, two, one. We're going to hit upright rows if you have dumbbells. You can go shoulder press if you like. Same idea. We're going to sprinkle in five. And then you're going to give me one squat. I'm going to try to hold my upright row as we're going. Down on those squats. You don't have to. And it's going to go for five shoulder exercises right here. One squat. Like some of y'all out there trying to find something else to do other than watch the news every day, all day long. So I'm watching a little bit of sports for usual. The ESPN's been doing a really good job of doing little special documentaries and doing stories on certain athletes. The latest one they had this morning. Yeah, five more here. We'll set in. We got kickbacks coming up in three, two, one. Kickbacks. If you have any triceps you want coming up, I'm going to stick with kickbacks. If you want to go overhead, you can. And give me that squat, stand all the way up. Kickbacks. So one of them that I saw this morning was about this coach. He was a junior varsity head coach. He was born with no arms and no legs. And still... Made his way up through the coaching ranks. He said he started off as could be like a manager or an assistant or something for the team. And he couldn't obviously really play or draw up. So he ended up learning football and drawing up plays, playing Madden video game, which was crazy. All right, last third, last minute here. We're gonna go arms only. Go five curls. 
Five upright rows. Five kickbacks. Back to curls. Get a little bit of speed here with this one, especially if you have those bands. Back to curls. I'll bring that up because they're airing a special right now. A little documentary on a guy who I think wrestled at USC and has one leg. So they're showing a little bit of him out here. 10 seconds here. Let's get those last few reps in. Get the arms and shake it out. Good work. All right, half of one round down. Just a minute here to transition. And then we're back to it again. This is, I don't know if you can see him from the video camera, but first time he's actually been off the couch to lay down all day. Got a new couch the other day, a couple weeks ago. I usually don't let him up on the couch too much. We all have dogs that shed, he, he sheds a lot. And with his skin allergies, He's got his little patches. Sometimes little pieces of hair will be out. But he's got his little waterproof blanket. Uh, he's one of those dogs that's weird. He'll, if he's on a soft, I can't get him a bed. I can't get him a pillow. Can't really do a, a lot of things because he has tendencies to pee himself at night with something soft. Never in his kennel, never on the floor. But when there's something soft underneath him, he has a tendency to wet himself when he's sleeping. Very exciting for you, I know. All right, let's go grab this. We're going to hit it again. Just squats coming up. Yeah, and I'm going to go back to bands. You want to use your dumbbells? Go ahead. Let's squat it out in three, two, one. Let's squat. So, I have this blanket I got or I found off Amazon. It's waterproof. So, I don't mind him being on the couch with me now. Just kind of resting. We took the armor, which is what is standing up on its side right now. It's weird looking gray thing. And so we just crashed on the couch last night watching movies. Woke up this morning, did our little daily walk routine. Eight, I'm back up on the couch. He went back to sleep. I watched some documentaries. And then when we get ready to start, he decides to get off the couch and then lay on the floor for whatever reason. Got about five more here. Throwing those curls in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five curls, one squat. Also, saw where. Rose pepper, but y'all don't know rose pepper is a our higher level authentic Mexican, amazing, dirty Mexican food. Restaurant, local spot here, but they're doing margarita sales with some cheese or some queso and guac. So I'm trying to run to go do this and get some of that today. All right, let's switch the shoulders in three, two, one. Nothing better than some chips dip from a good, just good old Mexican food. Nothing fancy, but their margaritas are amazing. Plus, it's a great way to support your local businesses. I think sometimes some of those restaurants, like your mama pop restaurants, your old diners, are similar like going to like your dirty dive bars. There's something about them that you love. The beer's a little colder for some reason, it tastes a little better. It's just a good fun atmosphere. So I'm going to the tin roof over here on the Mumbrian lot. Just a good old local dive bar. It's a good, dirty, stinky, amazing. Fun dive bar. 
Let's hit those triceps next in three, two, one, triceps here. Turn this side for you, watch that form. Also watched a movie last night, Ford versus Ferrari. If you have two hours, 20 minutes to watch, it was really good. Shout out to Jason and Jenny Kessner for telling me about that movie. Also watched the, the last Jumanji, The Rock and Kevin Hart and Jack Black. I can't remember the other girl's name that's in it. 10 seconds here, then we just hit those arms. We got five, we got four, three, two, one. Sit those curls. Five curls, five uprights, five kickbacks. But if you have not seen the first one, first remake of the Jumanji with Kevin Hart and The Rock, I would definitely suggest watching that one and then definitely watch the second one right after. If you want to watch the first one, just so you can pick up on some of the the background of this one is definitely different than the one, the one remake with Robin Williams, but it was hilarious. I was laughing out loud to myself, waking bear up, all watching it today or last night. All right, we got 15 seconds. Snack these out. Last 10. Three, four, five, shake it out. Good work, all right. We are officially done with round one. Take a minute here, catch your breath, cover a second, and then we'll go back. Let's start the second round out now. Second round's gonna engage a little bit more core with some legs. Um, if you have bands, you can use them. If you're gonna use dumbbells, you'll just need one dumbbell. We've got a lot of uh, think, reverse lunges and core twists. Um, with bands, you can just do this with tension in your bands that whole time. And I work your shoulders and back out just a little, but if you have bands, I think you'll like it with bands because you'll get a little bit more of your arms and a little bit of back with this as you're going. Um, but a dumbbell will work just fine. All right, 15 seconds on this first one. I'll go with bands for you. Again, if you have dumbbells, you just want one dumbbell. You're gonna hold it out in front of you as best you can. When you're doing these twists, if it gets too hard to hold straight out, you can pull it into your chest for your twists. We're gonna be doing reverse lunges, right leg only for a minute, left leg only for a minute. We're gonna go back to your to core, then back to your right leg, left leg. So let's get ready to start. Reverse lunge, right leg only, twisting to your left side. And three, two, one, hold that band out twist, bring it back up. Reverse lunge right, bands tight, twisting that side, trying to keep my shoulder blades engaged this entire time. Reverse lunge right, twist it out. Keeping that chest up, core is nice and tight. We've got 30 seconds here. And just a little bit of shoulders. Keep those shoulder blades engaged as you come back. Those bands, if you need to, you can bring the bands together. As you twist, take them out and squeeze. If you want to feel a little bit more tension in this. 15 seconds here. We simply switch sides. You got about five to go. You got four, three, two, one, switch legs. Do this every time. I miscalculate my stride, so I almost kicked the couch as we're going. And if it starts to burn a little bit much, a little too much with those bands, you can always pull those bands in for a rep if you need to. But the good news is you only have about 30 seconds here. We'll give these legs a little break. We're gonna focus on this core again. Now coming up. We're gonna do some elevated side bends. We're gonna go side to side. 
So if you have the bands, I'm gonna show you a way to do this so you kind of engage your lats a little bit. And if you have a dumbbell, you're simply gonna hold this dumbbell straight up above your head coming up. Last five here, four, three, two, one. Take this band straight up, leaning side to side. If you got your band, you wanna add some tension to it. Take up, squeeze. I'm pulling the band down with my lats, squeezing the outside of my back right here. And going side to side, getting the stretch. As I'm going now, if you have a dumbbell, you're simply holding this dumbbell right up above your head. If it gets easy, you can always add more tension to that band. Just think pull down with your elbows. We got 30 seconds here. And we're gonna squat it out. Now, if you have bands, you're just gonna hold these bands out. And try to keep those lats engaged as much as you can and kind of do an overhead squat. Okay, your feet will be wide. If you have a dumbbell, you can try to go with this dumbbell straight up in the air, or if that's too difficult as you squat, you can do a front shoulder raise. So you got bands, you're gonna hold them. If you have a dumbbell, you're gonna go overhead with it or squat and front shoulder raise in three, two, one, squat it out here. So coming down, squeezing the back and lats together, nice and tight. About 40 seconds here. I still haven't got on the Tiger King train yet because I feel like it's gonna be one of those things I'm gonna want to binge watch for the entire day. At least with movies, I feel like there's an end in sight. You know, I watched two and a half hours of Ford vs. Ferrari last night after watching the, Jum the Jumanji one before. So. I got about four hours of movie watching in, roughly. All right, you got five here, four, three, two, one. This time we're just gonna reverse lunge and alternate each one. So, sort of how we did before, just simply alternating back and forth. So a little bit extra legs, but we're alternating as we go. So if you do need a break at any time, stand up, shake your legs out, and try to keep twisting that core. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds ago. Then get your break. About Fifteen. Right now, so shoulders back. Your shoulders, rear delts should be on fire. Which mine are, which is why I'm not talking as much as I normally would. You're welcome. That's five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Good work. All right. Halfway done. The second round. Minute recovery here. And we'll jump back in. But appreciate you guys who have been subscribing, I've been tuning in to do the workout. Again, if you're new, you have a few new people, kind of want to understand the concept. So pretty much what we're doing is we're doing a five minute round. One time, you get a minute to recover and we do that same round again. The second time, we're trying to add a little difficulty to it if the first one was too easy. So for instance, that last one I did with bands, if you want to use your dumbbells, you can switch to dumbbells next time. Or if the bands are all you have and the bands are easy, you're just gonna grab in closer to those bands as you come out and tighten them up. So we will do four rounds. I got up, someone found his bed. Four rounds like that. We'll go back to back on each one. So for a total of eight rounds, five minutes on each one, approximately a minute recovery between. So we are done with first half of the second round. Let's get started. We're gonna do that one over again. Start with those bands or your dumbbell, reverse lunge right leg, twisting to your left side in three and two, one. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. My bands, reverse lunge. I'm just gonna throw in a little extra hold on mine this time. 
here, I'll step out of the way so you can see bear, because let's be honest, most everyone wants to see bear, and I don't blame you. So last night, the blanket spreads out a lot wider than what it is right now, but he's like his daddy. It doesn't matter if I have a twin bed or a king size bed, I only sleep on one side and hug the edge the entire time. So I gave him it's a decent sized couch. I gave him the majority of the couch. So I laid his blanket all the way over. And of course he wants to lay right on the edge so he can actually get onto the material of the couch and try to give me anxiety if I'm getting hair all over it. But as of right now, you see he's close to the edge of his blanket. Got three, two, one, let's switch legs. Take a little shake out here if you need it. All right. So we'll go that minute here. And then we will do those overheads. Again, those of y'all with dumbbells, I know something's burning. I did this one earlier. I usually go through all the rounds as a little practice. Just kind of get a feel for it for you. I like being able to keep tension on my shoulders the whole time with these bands. Plus, a lot of y'all were able to get bands easier than dumbbells. So we're going to do more of the band exercises for you today. 10 seconds. And we're going to go overhead. Side bends in five, four, three, two. I want to take it up, keep tension those bands, squeeze down with those lats. Let's just go side to side. Right. Just getting a stretch in those obliques, a stretch in those lats. Yeah, nothing that we're doing in here is going to be too complicated. I know there's some people out that have their own gym setups, their barbells their bumper plates and everything, doing some garage exercises and stuff. And that's great. If that is more your style, I have some amazing trainers who are doing that that I could send you to their link so you can watch what they're doing. But I like to keep it basic. I like to keep it simple so everyone can do it from the from the home. All right, we got about five more here. Got those overhead squats in four, three, two, one, squeezing tight, coming down. So the band's gonna feel a little stretch, shoulders as well. One thing I've been trying to do more, which you will not be able to tell from the lack of depth I can get right now, is just stretching more. See that last night I just laid there and stretched out a lot. Lazy stretching, lazy yoga. I did it on the couch, put the ottoman in front of it, sprawl it out, twist my body over. Definitely makes a difference. We've got nothing but time, so might as well stretch. I always have a tight lower back, like most people. It's mainly because I like of stretching that I do for it. 15 seconds, and then we will alternate those reverse lunges with those twists. A little bit of a burner on this one with those shoulders. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one, reverse, twist, bring it up. Reverse, twist, bring it up. Try to keep that chest up, core tight. It's amazing how, let me be wrong, it rained a lot last few weeks, we all know that. So having some heat and a little bit of sun was great, but nothing like blue skies. This makes everything just a little bit better. 30 seconds here. We're at halftime. Twenty seconds to go. Last fifteen. Last ten. You got five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Good work. You are officially. Halfway done with your workout. And this guy going right to the edge of the blanket. 
Just close enough so you can get on the couch. All right, buddy. I mean, I'm not listening to you. Okay. Two rounds down. Two to go. Two down. Two to go. 30 seconds. We're going to go again. So we focused a little more on the arms recently. So you got some back coming up. And this will be your choice on bands, your choice on dumbbells. With bands, you can do these in the door wedge if you have the little wedge that goes in the door frame. Put those in. You got about 15 seconds to let you get set up. Or you can also do these by standing on your bands. It's not a problem. So we're going to do it similar to the first round where we're going to start with squats and then we're going to do chest flies. Squat for one, chest flies, and then I'm going to bend these over. I'm going to bend over and cross these up and do back and squats. You can also do deadlifts if you like. Um, I'll give you the option as we're going. Won't be a lot with bands, so I'm going to stick with the squats. But if you have dumbbells when you're doing this, if you're laying down, you can do your um, – if you're on the floor, give me your five presses when we switch to the chest press, and then you can throw in a crunch instead if you like. Um, but if you are standing up to do flies or if you're on a bench, so we're going to squat this out in three, just squats in two, one, let's go. All right, minute here. So we squat it out for a minute. Then we go back and hit chest. Hey, back there. Coughing. Gagging on something. Get away here so you can you look at that. Little brown bump on a log right there. 30 seconds. Try to drop those hips low, keep that chest up. Chin up, trying not to bend over on those squats. 15 seconds here. Chest flies are coming up. You got about 12. You got 10. You need eight. Yeah, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chest flies right here. Again, if you're doing these on the wedge, you can do crossovers or you can turn around and do a chest press. You have to, so you're going five on those flies. Give me one squat. Two, three, four, five, one squat. Good. 20 seconds here, and we're we'll throwing that back in. Last 10. Four, five, last one. Now we're going to hit this back. So here I'm just going to cross these bands up, hit some low rows. One squat. Three, four, five, one squat. About 30 seconds. We're going to go back to the chest. We're going to keep it simple. Come up, we're just going to do the chest and squats again. Got about 10 seconds. We need about five more here. Three, two, one. Hit that squat. Let's go back to those flies. All right. One squat. So hit this for about 45 seconds. Hit that back one more time. And then you get your recovery time. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
alive. Got that sweat going. Sometimes it just feels good to sweat, especially if you've been sitting around. Some y'all just been possibly having a few adult beverages, which is fine. Last bit here. Let's hit that back in three, two, one, back here. Five and one. I'm just coming low on mine, I'm trying to focus on that middle, the lower half of my back a little more. So give me 30 seconds here. We're gonna get your break. 20 seconds here. Fifteen seconds to go. Last ten, I'm gonna got five more reps. Four, three, two, one, recover. Okay. Recover here. Take your minute. We'll do that again. There. Karen says hi. Karen, he says hi back. What he really did, he must have been hanging out with you while he threw an eye roll in at me as if I can't respond. So why would you even say that? But it's that Kaziah eye roll. He's got it down packed. It's a nice eye roll. Good form. I just go straight back, roll to the left and then back down. It's a, it's an art you've perfected. Okay, so we got about 15 seconds. We're gonna do that again. So, same idea. If you got your dumbbells, you can go with your dumbbells. If you wanna do deadlifts instead, you can do deadlifts instead. All right. Can you can have him whenever you want. If you need someone to cuddle with, I don't know how he does with cats though. I don't know, we can find out. All right, let's go hit this chest in three, two, one. Let's hit those flies. Our line, let's squat. We're just going to squat. We're going to squats for a minute. Then we'll hit those chest flies or chest presses, depending on what you're doing. Now, if you have those bands, if you want to focus on your negatives and your explosion, you can just come down slow, about three to four or five. Now, as low as you can, pause, explode right back up or you can just rep this out either way. We got about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna throw that chest in. Last 12, last 12. You got eight, you got five, four, three, two, one. Hey, right, give me those flats. And a squat. Five and one. Try to fight that tension as you come down on those flies. 30 seconds here. We hit that back. Give me 20, give me 20. Last 10. I'm gonna knock out five more reps, one little squat. We'll switch this to back in four, three, two, one. Let's hit that back. This time, I'm just gonna get those bands by my side. But if you like, you can cross some bands up. Five. 
We got 30 seconds here. Now with those rows, try to reset after your five rows. Hit that squat, bring it up, push those hips back, bend over at that waist, drop that chest down just a little. 15 seconds here. That squat, bring it up, 10 seconds. Last squat here. Let's hit that chest in three, two, one, let's go. This will be our last two minutes of the third round. Those of y'all that have your pool, they're out at the lake, your lake house or your beach house. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Get a little bit of sun, a little tan on the body. All right, we've got about 20 seconds left here. And we hit that back again. One more, hit that squat. I said that back in three, two, one, let's go. I said that back right here. You got 40 seconds left. You guys got some big plans today, sitting around. Binge watching TVs, having a few mimosas, enjoying a little brunch with you and your, or you're quarantined with. Or it could just be you and yourself, or you and your animal, who is again passed out snoring. 10 seconds. It's not got five quick ones. Three, more. Five, squat, good, okay, there's your break. We are done with round three. Take a minute here to recover. Well, good morning, sunshine. Karen's talking about you again. She still said to tell you hi. It's like, man, unless you got food, I don't think he wants to go on any more walks. I wish y'all have a bulldog. With money, actually y'all, look at this. Hey, I'm not built for endurance. He'll do his power walking. We had the stairs the other day because the elevator was taking too long. He was done, we're on the top floor. There's only six floors here. We got to about the third and he just looked at me like, are we still going? And I said, yeah. We came in, he went to his kennel. Or he's got water. I got him a water bottle. It screws this side, almost like a hamster water bottle because he's got a big turkey neck. So when he drinks out of a water bowl, his neck drifts into the water while he laps it up and then just walks a trail with him to wherever he's going. So instead, I got him a little hamster bottle, a big hamster bottle. It'll hold like a fine fuel bottle and you can drink out of that. Okay, that's it for the final round. I'm gonna go with bands. We're gonna kind of incorporate a little bit of everything on this one. Um, so we're gonna start biceps, triceps, uh, shoulders, chest, back. So each minute will be, we're gonna do our counts to be five and two again. So we're just gonna add everything together on this one. So let's get ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Starting with curls. Now, I'm gonna slow mine down on this one. On this first round, the first half of this round, and focus on negatives, then I'll speed them up on the last round. So you got a minute here on these bicep curls. We're going for five curls and two squats. Back to those curls. You can do curls any which way you want right here. Just trying to take my time. Oh, 
We got about 10 seconds here. We're going to go into triceps. Three, two, one. Let's hit those kickbacks. I'll turn the side for you here. Gonna give a little pause at the, the top of this. Can go for five and two. If the squats, my legs were burning a little bit. Much you can go with one. If you can do one, or you can always hit your deadlift. If you like to hit that deadlift. Twenty seconds here, and we're gonna go into our shoulders. I'm gonna go with upright rows on this one. Actually, I might try to go side, side shoulder raise. That's five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders, you can go upright rows, shoulder press. You can do side shoulder raises like I'm doing. That's up to you. I'll bring my feet in closer. Go for more of a narrow squat. Thirty seconds here. Fifteen seconds. We got chest coming up. We'll finish on that back. Last five, last four, three, two, one, chest. And a lot of flies today. If you're using bands, if you're standing on them, and you always have the option to put those bands in the wedge, the door frame. And some of you also have two sets of bands. Great. You can always have one set in your the door frame wedge for your chest and back. Then you can always step on your other ones for your arms. You can also do arm exercises with the bands as well. Someone had asked me about that before. What we're probably gonna do is take a day and make a little tutorial out of proper workout with the band and things you can do. Short and simple. 15 seconds here, we hit that back. Last five, four, three, two, one. Let's go back rows. All right, last bit right here. Oh, 30 seconds. We're done with the first half of the last round. Twenty seconds. Almost there. Last fifteen. Last ten. You got eight. You got six. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover, shake it out. Okay, we have five minutes left. Take a minute here, take a break, shake it out, get some water, get ready. One more round, that's it. So the next one, I'm gonna go for a little bit more speed on mine. Get my heart rate up a little bit. Again, if you want to stay with the negatives and go slow, focus on that time under tension, you can. I'm going for a little more of a burnout on this next one. You can also switch it up. You can go five quick reps, two squats, five slow reps, two squats. All right, let's get ready to go. This is it. 
last five minutes of our workout. Okay. Seven ounce bands, let's get ready to go. Curls, five curls, two squats. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, 45 seconds here. And in your choice if you want to go faster or slow. I'm going to try to stick with fast as much as I can. Shouldn't be too difficult on the bicep exercises. Now, kickbacks start to burn after a while. Those shoulders will be interesting. But that's the joy of going with bands. Oh. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Under 10. Two more squats. We go triceps in three, two, one, kickbacks. Four minutes left and our workout. I keep wanting to say our day, but it's just habit. I'm teaching classes at the gym. Oh, we've got about 30 seconds here. We'll be done with those triceps for the day. Give me 20 seconds. We go shoulders. Last 10 here. Two quick squats. Yeah, three, two, one, let's go shoulders. See with that five and two. For the heart rate coming up. I personally like to go slower because I like that time and attention feeling. But I do enjoy a good sweat. Get that heart rate raising up. 30 seconds here. Almost there. 20 seconds left. Almost done with those shoulders. Got about 10. You got five, four, three, two, one, chest. We got two minutes and we're done. Finish strong with me. 45 seconds left here. Keep that core tight, Keep that chest up on those flies. Less than 30. Twenty seconds. Last fifteen. Give me ten. You got eight. You got six. You got five. Four. Three, two, one. Let's go back. Finish that last minute here. Ready? Let's go. Forty-five seconds in our day. That's it. Burn this out. If you're doing dumbbells on your rows, it's hard with two. You can always drop to one. If you can't do five, give me four or three. Last 30 seconds, don't stop. Four, five, one, two, 20 seconds. At about 15. 
Last 10. Whatever you can here. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We are done. Done and done. Well, that was fun. Whew. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday fun day. Go outside, sit on the patio, sit on your sidewalk, sit on the porch, enjoy the sunshine. Get some of that vitamin D in. I'll see you tomorrow, Monday, 5.30 for little arms and abs. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay home. I will talk to you soon. Bye.